Hey everyone, Wesley here from The Seed of Life in our first episode in our Martha Martha series entitled The Sin of Serving. How would up? Say what? Heretic! Wasn't Jesus a servant? Aren't we supposed to be serving? Heretic! Wait, let me clarify. There is a certain type of serving which is sinful, which is not rooted in the life of God, but which is rooted in our flesh and in our own self-righteousness. And that is something we do not want to live in. And unfortunately, that's a lot what of us do live in. It's the filthy rags of righteousness that Isaiah is talking about. And in the story of Martha and Mary, we can really see what this looks like. So let's dive in. Now, as they went on their way, Jesus entered a village, and a woman named Martha welcomed him into her house. And she had a sister called Mary, who sat at the Lord's feet and listened to his teaching. But Martha was distracted with much serving. And she went up to him and said, Lord, do you not care that my sister has left me to serve alone? Tell her then to help me. But the Lord answered her, Martha, Martha, you are anxious and troubled about many things, but one thing is necessary. Mary has chosen the good portion which will not be taken away from her. So it's a very interesting story where most people and most Christians that read this would actually side with Martha when she's saying, she's just sitting there, Mary's just sitting there, let her do something. And we are often like that. Do something for God. Go and do something for God. What's your life look like? Go and do something for God. And here, Jesus is so, so interesting what he says. He says, one thing is necessary. And Mary has chosen the good part. He's chosen the good portion. He's not saying, Martha, what you're doing is great. And Mary will learn about that later. But let's first just sit here. No, he's saying, one thing is necessary. And what that one thing that is necessary, that is the thing that Mary chose. And that is sitting at the feet of Jesus. So there's a couple of key words that I want to talk about that show why this type of serving is not good. It shows that Martha is distracted with much serving. So what is she distracted from? From Jesus. She's distracted from just sitting at the feet of Jesus. And this is something that I've experienced in my life. And I see so many Christians, they are so busy with Christianity and church stuff that they are not really focused on Jesus. I was busy with Christianity, but not busy with Christ. And it also shows her state. It says she is anxious and troubled. The Lord says, you are anxious and troubled. And the wrong type of serving comes forth out of a heart that is troubled, that is anxious, a heart that feels guilt, a heart that feels shame, a heart that feels obliged a heart that thinks it needs to do these things because otherwise I'm not a good Christian or otherwise God's gonna smite me or whatever. It's from a wrong heart, from a wrong motivation. That's why she is troubled. That's why she is distracted because she's not focused really on God. She's focused on her work, on the things that she is doing because if those things are not good, then she's in trouble. So she's not focused on the Lord. Another famous passage which also touches upon this is in Matthew 7, verse 21. It says, Not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of heaven, but the one who does the will of my Father who is in heaven. On that day, many will say to me, Lord, Lord, did we not prophesy in your name and cast out demons in your name and do many mighty works in your name? And then I will declare to them, I never knew you. Depart from me, you workers of lawlessness. And you see an overlap between these two stories that there is people that God is going to say, they, they claimed to know me. They said, Lord, Lord, they're going to come to me. And when I say, get away, their argument for staying, like why they think they should be allowed to let in is, but didn't we do all this prophesying, demons, casting out demons, mighty works. These things in themselves are not wrong. Again, just like serving, serving is not wrong. It's the heart of Christianity. But there is a wrong type of serving, and apparently there's a wrong type of prophesying and, and doing mighty works because they have built their identity on that. Like they say, why are, do they think they should be allowed to enter heaven? Haven't we done these things? And then Jesus says, I never knew you. I don't know you. This is such a harsh thing to say. He calls them workers of lawlessness. And here, the story of Martha Mary and also this story touches upon a very vital thing, that Christianity is all about knowing Jesus. And He is our life. It's not you. And the problem is, with a lot of our serving, is rooted in the sin of self-righteousness. It's still rooted in the sin of 
thinking that we ourselves can earn our righteousness. And nothing but the life of Jesus in us will produce the fruit that God is looking for. So it's not about human generosity or about human love or about human patience. It's about divine generosity, divine love, divine patience, divine joy. God is not interested in anything your flesh can make out of itself. It's all going to perish. It's all going to wash away and one thing will remain and that's his son the nature of his son it says that christ will fill all in all he will fill everything so everything that is born out of our own nature which the lord says to martha is very often rooted in you're anxious you're troubled you're distracted that is not the fruit of god and very clearly in the story it says that jesus says this one thing that you need to do sit at the feet of jesus and if you do that his life will be formed in you and you will see that the true fruit, the true serving heart will come out of you naturally because it will be him living through you and not you being distracted with much serving. That's the first episode. See you next week.